Triumph's 2024 lineup featuring the Speed 400 and Scrambler 400X is truly impressive. To put it simply, one excels while the other still stands out as a top contender. Which is which? Prepare to be surprised. Upon testing both models consecutively, it became clear that one of these newly introduced India-manufactured singles ranks among the finest motorcycles I've had the pleasure of evaluating in recent years. Triumph's achievement in this regard is truly commendable. Recognizing the significance of the smaller displacement market, Triumph has delivered motorcycles that not only meet but exceed expectations, potentially securing a loyal customer base. In 2023, our UK contributor Adam Child provided an exclusive preview of pre-production versions of the Speed 400 and Scrambler 400X. Despite not being the final production bikes, his reviews were overwhelmingly positive. We patiently awaited the full unveiling of these models, and now that time has arrived. Both models are equipped with a 398 cubic centimeters DOHC liquid-cooled single engine, boasting 39.5 horsepower at 8,000 RPM and 27.7 pound FT of torque at 6,500 RPM according to Triumph's claims. The oversquare design enables both the Speed and Scrambler to reach their peak power at 8,000 RPM, while still providing ample torque at lower refs. Notably, the engine's performance is characterized by smooth power delivery, eliminating the need for aggressive gear shifts. Whether navigating tight corners or accelerating from a standstill, both the Speed 400 and Scrambler 400 demonstrate remarkable versatility. While the final drive gearing varies slightly between the two models, they exhibit equal levels of enthusiasm when accelerating, considering their 398 cubic centimeters singles. Despite the Scrambler X's slightly heavier build, both models offer spirited performance. Overall, the gearing is optimized to showcase the engine's torque, with both models reaching their peak performance just shy of or around 100 miles per hour. Notably, given enough space, the Speed 400 can exceed this mark. A counter-rotating balance shaft effectively mitigates engine vibration, although as you approach maximum revs, the mirrors positioned at the ends of the Scrambler's wider handlebars tend to blur. Despite this, the overall riding experience maintains a satisfying level of vibrancy, portraying a robust engine without the expected lumpiness typically associated with long-stroke singles. Instead, it exudes a character reminiscent of a twin configuration. Regarding traction control and ABS, Triumph singles don't offer multiple ride modes, but they do feature traction control and ABS, albeit without lean sensitivity. Given their price points of $4,995 and $5,595 respectively, it's understandable that they don't include every feature imaginable. Throughout our testing, the speed consistently demonstrated ample traction on dry pavement, thanks in part to the grip provided by the Metzeler Sportec M9RR tires. Similarly, the Scrambler equipped with Carew Street tires also maintained excellent traction. However, riders should be aware of a slight herky-jerky feel and throttle response, particularly at lower speeds, which can be managed with familiarity and the clutch's smooth modulation. Disabling traction control is a straightforward process using the left switch gear and LCD dash. While our testing of the Scrambler 400X included only a brief stint on dirt, it's worth noting that disabling traction control can enhance performance on softer surfaces. On dirt, activating the throttle with traction control engaged may result in a sharp reduction of power when traction is compromised. Both models feature dual-channel ABS that intervenes only when absolutely necessary. The Scrambler 400X, with its less aggressive brake pad compound, benefits from a friendlier feel on dirt surfaces. Although the difference in brake feel between the two models may not be immediately noticeable, transitioning from the Speed Sport Bike-inspired setup to the Scrambler's configuration does reveal a distinction. When ABS does engage, feedback through the lever signals its intervention, while pulsation through the rear lever indicates ABS activation at the rear tire. Additionally, off-road mode on the Scrambler 400X disables ABS on both ends, catering to more adventurous riding conditions. Chassis Variations Although the differences in chassis are subtle, they carry significant implications. Notably, the Speed 400 features a frame that is one inch shorter than that of the Scrambler. The Scrambler X adopts a longer steel tube mainframe to accommodate its larger 19-inch front wheel, providing increased travel. Its rake is slightly steeper at 23.2 degrees, with a quarter-inch longer trail at 4.25 inches. 
Both models are equipped with a 43mm non-adjustable Showa Big Piston Fork, offering 5.9 inches of travel on the Scrambler 400X and 5.5 inches on the Speed 400. Additionally, a preload-only adjustable mono shock delivers 5.9 inches of travel on the Scrambler 400X, while the Speed 400 offers 5.1 inches. Despite sharing the same swing arm, the Scrambler 400X boasts a 1.6-inch longer wheelbase. Furthermore, the Scrambler features a wider and taller handlebar, along with various off-road enhancements such as a headlight and radiator screen, handguards, a skid plate, and an upswept dual-tip muffler. The suspension on the Scrambler 400X offers a plush ride, adept at absorbing road imperfections and minor off-road obstacles. While it may not excel at conquering larger obstacles, it handles dirt roads and mountainous terrain with ease and even adds a touch of excitement, just as one would expect from a Scrambler. Despite only offering rear spring preload adjustment, the suspension delivers exceptional performance, exhibiting excellent damping control both front and rear. Notably, there is minimal fork dive during braking and rear squat under acceleration. In essence, it stands as one of the best lower-budget suspension setups available, rivaled only by the Speed 400. Similarly, the suspension settings on the Speed 400 are finely tuned. The ride strikes a balance between comfort on uneven city streets and sporty responsiveness, even under the weight of a rider as heavy as 235 pounds. Marvelous damping ensures stability, preventing any pogoing or bucking, even when encountering mid-corner bumps while accelerating. Triumph's achievement in this regard is truly remarkable, especially considering the price point of these motorcycles. Handling-wise, the nuanced differences between the two models yield distinctly contrasting experiences on the road. Steering into corners on the Scrambler 400X feels slightly cumbersome, despite the wider handlebars. Initially, there's a sense of resistance, but once leaned over, the effort diminishes, and the ride becomes smoother. However, transitioning to the Speed 400 alters one's perspective entirely. The Speed 400 seamlessly integrates into Triumph's Sport Classic lineup, echoing the prowess of its predecessors like the Speed Twin 1200, recognized as the best standard motorcycle in both 2022 and 2023. Like its larger sibling, the Speed 400 excels in carving through canyons, offering effortless turn-in with unparalleled precision and unwavering stability. Feedback from the Sportec M9RR tires feels almost instinctive, prompting one to question whether it's charm and allure cloud judgment. Yet, unequivocally, the Speed 400 lives up to the hype. It's exceptional, a bargain, a motorcycle destined to be cherished indefinitely. Ergonomically, the Speed 400 provides a snug but not cramped space from seat to foot peg. Riders taller than 5 foot, Tin may notice a slight strain on the knees over extended rides, yet the overall comfort remains unaffected. The 31.1-inch seat height ensures all-day comfort, while the slightly forward-leaning reach to the handlebars alleviates strain on the wrist and back. The Scrambler 400X, on the other hand, offers more roominess, courtesy of its wider and taller handlebars, lower foot pegs, and taller 32.9-inch seat height. Taller riders may prefer the Scrambler for its ample space while those with shorter inseams might find it challenging to plant both feet firmly on the ground. 